All right, so this video is for training purposes, how to do a APU startup on a 737, uh, all models pretty much. First, we have ground power available because we are at a bridge. We're going to turn the battery on because it is essential power. Next, dome light because it's dark. Ensure that the parking brake is set in the upright position with the light turned on. Now, we are going to use a ground power. Next, we turn on the fuel pump, left aft one on. Now, here's the APU startup switch. Hold it down for at least one second. The startup cycle will take approximately 60 seconds. When you'll see this uh, light uh, turn on, that means it's up and running. First thing you're supposed to do, walk in, check all the fuses, make sure nothing's popped, left and right. Cabin safety check is complete, walk around, uh, exterior is complete, make sure all doors and hatches are closed. Uh, in this case, the forward entry is still open. Uh, we'll just wait for this uh, light to illuminate, then we can run off the APU. The light is illuminated. When it's dark, you can turn this switch to bright. It'll make all the lights brighter. So, APU Gen Off Bus light has illuminated. You could choose left or right. I just did both. At this time, you may tell the people downstairs to remove ground power. We do not need it anymore. We're running off the APU generator. Next, we're going to look at left after one. Make sure that light is still turned off. Now, we're going to go over here. Cabin pressurization switch must be in auto. Next step, APU bleed. Let's turn that on. If required, this is for air conditioning, so if required, super hot or super cold day, you could turn it on. So left pack, R pack on. Isolation valve must be in open. Uh, this is to adjust the temperatures. I'm gonna turn it off so it's quieter. Next, we have electric one hydraulic pump for the uh, brakes. The accumulator is straight in front of me, right there. Right now I have about 2400 PSI. When I turn this switch on, it should go up to 3000 or uh, about 3200. Electric one pump switch on, low pressure light extinguished, and about 3000 PSI. We need a minimum of 2700 PSI in order to tow a plane. So that's good. Now we can tell the ground crew to remove wheel chocks because we have brake pressure in the accumulator. So that's pretty much all set up there. If you need window uh, defroster switches, they're here. And the wiper switches are here. Uh, next, we'll go down here. I'm gonna turn the panel to bright. Transponder should set, set to 1000. Right now it's in standby mode. We're gonna turn that to alt on when we're ready to tow. We need to be in VHF1. Whatever's in the standby window here. This is uh, to talk to ground, obviously. Our, our channels here, local, are north ground, 12715. I'm gonna flip it to set up south ground, 121 decimal seven. North ground, south ground. Now to mimic it on this side, VHF1. Audio control. These rotary knobs are who we're listening to, so we need to listen to VHF1 so we can listen to ground. We need to listen to INT, interphone, or flight interphone. And we're gonna listen to them through the speaker. Mic selector switches, you can only select one mic, and it's always going to be INT, interphone. We need to talk to the tug driver. Once all that's set, um, we can go back up here, set our lights. Position light should be on uh, steady, and the anti-collision should be switched on when you're ready to go. After that, fasten your seatbelts and get ready for the repositioning of the aircraft.